Delhi based architect Manish Bilati is in the city of dreams to live his dream job of being a chef. Putting him through the paces is Busabha's celebrity chef Nikhil Chip. For the first task, Nikhil asked Manish to buy two varieties of fish. Manish completed his task, but he went overboard with his budget. Will Nikhil be happy? Now is the time to find out. You are actually smelly today. <laughs> crazy, crazy day. Absolutely. Crazy. I hope the fish is not smelling as uh, as Manish. I'm smelling. <laughs> I'm smelling bad. How was the experience? I've never seen something like this before. It's absolutely maddening. Uh, this is a fish I have not seen in Delhi. So uh, finally, it just sort of occurred to me that yes, I have a cell phone. I can Google it. So I just put red snapper, see the images, and I'm trying to match the image with the fish that I see in the market. So a bit of cheating on the internet. Well, it's use of technology. I mean, uh, well, I think given the situation, uh, you know, you know, the land of internet computers, you know, why not? Why not? As long as you get it right. Well, let's find out if he has got it right. So is this the fish you picked up? Yeah. What do you Voila. Mean? Okay. Well, looks pretty good to me. You see the gills over here? Yeah. Nice. Little bit of redness. Well, he's done a decent job. Right, but there's not one red snapper. I see two. Uh, yeah, I needed a backup plan because I know I've not done the fish before, and coming to this market is a crazy experience. I knew I can't go back there. That's a tough one, Manish, because. You know, if you want to become a restaurant, you got to think about cost. Your cost is going to go up. You're not going to make money. It's going to be charity. The Bombay duck doesn't look like it should. You know, I'm I'm, I'm feeling it's a little, it's a little fifty-fifty. Something about the color is just not appealing to me. It should be uh, should be more pink. That's my 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 right. feeling on this. Right, right. So totally, how much did you spend? I spent six hundred thirty rupees. 130 rupees overboard. The budget was 500 rupees. I'd, I'd give uh, Manish about uh, maybe five, five or six and ten. It's his task, but let's get down to task two of this assignment. Manish, it's going to be very simple. You bought some fish uh, here today. I want you to fillet the fish, uh, scale it. Uh, you know, it's going to have whatever the bones, the little, little bones are there. Take it out. Give me two nice, clean fillets. Clean up the Bombay duck. I may have to look on the internet how to clean Bombay duck. <laughs> so get that done, and I'm going to come back to you and uh, check out uh, on what you're up to. Sure. And how much time does he have to do this? Forty minutes. Let's get started. Sure. All the best. When I enter with a fish in the kitchen, to see that professional kitchen is a high. Firstly. So just coming into that entire gear was exciting. Starting with the scaling of the fish. Seems to be a little hard. Gotta have a clean cooktop, absolutely clean bench. I think uh, it's better to start off with uh, red snapper. It's a tough fish to prepare. I'd only done it in theory. In practice, yes, it's tough and it's making me sweat. This is where your architectural training comes in. You're supposed to make straight lines, cut straight lines. For the pin bones, you just gotta feel your finger right through it, as I've been told. Never done it. You just pick each one of these out individually, which is what is the difficult part. Okay, got the culprit, the pin bone. Very important. Okay, I have only 15 minutes left, and that bombay duck is still remaining. I remember watching this Konkani lady who was doing it exactly like this, and she was doing it fairly fast. With my no experience, let me see if I can try and imitate her. So I've got clean five Bombay ducks. Fish look clean. Absolutely done with the job. 
Finally, the Everest is conquered. I am going for my judgment. I do feel scared. Let's see what happens. Manish, the main guy. What's happening? I uh, just got these fillets for you. Little spin, little twist. Story of life, right? I've got a five or seven kilos of onions for you. Okay. Simple job. Got to know your onions like we've discussed before. Chop them up really fine. I got hungry staff, forty staff waiting for food for lunch. I was taken up by surprise completely. I wasn't expecting that. Although I think I should have been expecting that because, as they say, the first job in a kitchen for anybody who's wanting to be a chef is to chop onions. Cut this. I want to see your speed. Wow. How you cut this? How fast you go? So what's your secret for your eyes not watering? My eyes are hot. eyes not watering. Is there a secret? No, no secret. Okay, sir. One ground rule. Let me help you over here. Okay. First, you're gonna cut straight, right? Right. And then you wanna cut like this, right? Chef. Okay. Fingers in, chef. Okay. Boom. Finger gone. I'm finished. Okay. 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 So, fingers in. Play to the knuckles, huh? Yes. Right. Right. Getting close. Okay. Doing all of these in 15 minutes, impossible. With Nikhil standing right over my head. Manish, somewhere it took me off balance. I'm going to give you another 15 minutes so you can finish this off. Thank you so much, sir. Let me check how your onions are doing. Okay. This is thinner. This is not going to go down well. Nikhil, you made me cry today. Listen, it's been a decent effort. I don't want to kill your motivation over here, but unfortunately, you've not been able to finish the task that I set out to do. I couldn't do the onions. I was a bit disappointed. Sorry, sir. Uh, chopping onions is so basic, but it's extremely important in a professional kitchen. I got my learning there. The onions certainly got the better of Manish as he failed to chop them in the time given to him. But will this affect his performance in the next task? Find out when we return 